Good day students, you are welcome to Literature in English class. Our today's topic is on a poem called A New Africa by Shibo Uwoke. I read, My eyes opened, I saw a new Africa, no longer corrupt. I saw a new generation of Africa youths coming back like swans from their land of exile, prepared like brides for their grooms, waiting to be handed in. A loud feminine voice, the voice of Mother Health, jingling down like some golden coins, flowing down from the high heaven sanded. I am Mama Africa. At last, I have made all things new. Light has come to stay. The children of darkness have fled to be seen no more. There will be no more terror or mourning or crying or pain or poverty and penury. I saw a new Africa. There was no longer any corruption. I saw a new Africa. Now, the poem is on Africa. Things happen in the continent of Africa. So we want to look at the analysis of the poem now. The poem synopsis, that is the summary of the poem. It says, the poem seems to have a dream of a new lease of life coming to African continents and a people the poet foretells that the future Africa holds abundance and prosperity, the void of present chaos, corruption, and bad leadership. The poet believes he saw a new African in the first line. The poet seems to be talking from a trance or from the dreamland. He comments, my eyes opened, I saw a new Africa. What this summary is telling us is that there's a new, there, there's an old Africa and there's also a new Africa. The old Africa is full of corruption, bad leadership, but the poet made us to understand that he saw a new Africa. The perception of the poet about the new generation of Africa is that the Africa youth that will come is that which will ensure corruption. That is, in the new Africa, um, the, the, the new Africa, the youth would not do, would not have anything to do with any corruption. It should be a good Africa. The new breed of Africans will return from exile to a new African continent where all things have been made new. Also, the poet goes on to predict that the new Africa continent is such that will not harbor the evil-minded ones, that is, children of darkness, any longer. The new African will be free from violence, anguish, pain, poverty, and wants. There will be no more corruption in Africa. Now, as I've explained earlier, that we've, uh, we are not yet in the new Africa, but the poet is only telling us what will happen in the future, that Africa will still be good, and that in, uh, in the generation of the new Africa, those Africans that have gone on exile, that is, they've gone on slavery, they are no longer in Africa again, they've gone to another continent because of um, maybe the, 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 the place they've gone to is better than Africa, that now when there is a new Africa, those Africans that have gone on exile will return back because the new Africa will be the one that will be very good and it will harbor them. So the point made us understand that during the new era, when the new Africa, uh, during the regime of the new Africa, those Africans that have gone on exile will return back because everything will have been made new. And that in the, in the era of new Africa, there will not be well, evil-minded people, that is the children of darkness. Everything will be good. There will no longer be violence, anguish, pain, poverty, and want. Everything will be balanced. Everything will be okay during the new Africa. So that's what the poem is all about. Thanks for listening.